My wife called me and said, the blue has to go. The blue got to go. I was saying, now you're changing the any gray. And in this video, I'm going to be changing the blue cabinet into a gray cabinet. First, I have to strip off the color. Um, just subscribe, stay tuned, and let's do this together. <laughs> you know. Uh, let's go. Let's see how it's going to go. Um, stay tuned. But before we go on, if you have not subscribed to the, my channel, please go ahead and do so. Now we have to take the blue paint off. It was fun having you blue paint, but now the blue paint have to go to make way for the new and improved gray paint. Like I said, there's two ways you can do it. You can use a chemical stripper, that little gallon that I showed you guys. Is about twenty five or twenty three dollars from Home Depot or Lowe's, um, and it wa it wasn't going to be able to do everything that I wanted to do. I was I was going to have to buy at least four of those. Or I could use a heat gun and a paint stripper to get the work done the same way. Um, using the paint stripper will probably be the quickest way to get it done, but it's also the messiest way. It's, and if, um, it gives you too much mess. Mess in the dust on the door. Um, if you look at what I'm doing, what's the, what the paint, you know? What the strip and the first one, all right, right. It, it's, it's easy to just peel it off, but it don't look as clean. It don't look um, as nice compared to what um, the heat gun and the paint stripper will, 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 will do for you. Um, the stripping tool will do for you. So I prefer, personally, I prefer the hard way. You know, I prefer the hard way because it makes it nicer. If you look at the side that I use the heat gun to do and the side that I use the chemical to do, um, there's difference. The other side looks cleaner. If you look at what I'm doing right now, it looks way cleaner compared to using the other one. Once the paint is all gone. The next step is to sand it down to make it look clean and smooth. You want that cleaner look. You don't want to just paint over it without clean, cleaning the excess um, paint and all that stuff off it. So you have to sand it down to make it look better. So they be all done so fast for now yet smooth. So I craft for fro and fro no. So liner, and you have to sand it down to make it look nice and clean. So, um, that part was for the door outside you know you take the doors of the kitchen cabinet take it outside and take all the paint off it but the cabinet itself you cannot move it outside so i came back inside to take the paint off the cabinet as well you know i it is time consuming like i said earlier on it is a tedious job but imagine using the chemical here it will mess up your hardwood floor. So you have to do it the hard way. The hard way, make it look nice. So I took the doors off, laid them down in the garage, took some of the paint off, and then the rest that I couldn't take the paint off or I felt tight, I just primed over it. So I primed over those colors and then went ahead and did the gray paint. Um, you see me wiping off before I paint. It's just so I'll be able to get all the dirt or the dust off it. So I don't paint over the dirt or dust. It will, the paint will look hideous. So that is what I did. Wipe it off before I paint. I wipe off 
every time before I paint. Every section that I have to paint, I will wipe it down with the red rag that I have and then paint over it to make sure I don't paint over any dirt or any um, dust, as you can see. So that is what I did. Took my time. You could you can spray it if you want to spray paint it. You can spray it. But I just didn't feel like spraying it. So I used my roller and my little brush to um, paint it. I did it twice. I painted each one of them two times to get a, a better paint and to make it look more nicer. After all, this was the fun part. As you can see, I already painted um, the cabinets that were left inside and the doors that were left inside. I already painted all of them. Um, so the, here comes the fun part, installing the doors back. Yeah, the cushion to room. And you bring the doors back, um, put the doors back on. Now, you make sure you mark them where each one of them goes before you <laughs> take them off. So I had to number mine so you don't get messed up because um, they, I have doors that are the same sizes, but they won't fit. You have to go to the exact same spot. Um, I could have, or uh, you can use a power tool to put them back, but it's not advisable. You know, the power tool will go too fast and probably mess it up. So manual all day every day so i went the manual way screwdriver and just screw everything in it so that is that is what i did you know take my time and do all that install all the doors one after the other make sure the handles are good to go and then you'll be on the path to success to getting a nicer and a cleaner kitchen out with the old New one comes inside. So gray is the color now. It makes it more spacious. It brings in more light and it looks more nicer than the blue that we used to have. And I love it.